Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push ahead. Come me up ahead. Hell yeah. This is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. Now get the hell back out there. Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot, don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving.
Contact the Southern Axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill Vito. You're endangering lives. And the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I had to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. Vito's wounded. How fast could he be? Vito's smart. We stop to help these people, and he'll use this time to get away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it.
like this. This should come in handy.
You just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh. You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah, screw you. Now come on, get me out of this shit hole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was goddamn paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go! You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you've spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to... be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I... I wouldn't blame you if, but... Oh, thank you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research. Figure out how to make this work. What can you do? Can I help? There are a few ways to temporarily improve my immune system. Immuno boosters, antibiotic injections, that kind of thing. I'll spare you the details, but trust me. I've got plenty of motivation to figure something out. It can't be that uncommon for a Quarian to have a relationship with another race. Sure, but in most cases everything is happening outside the suit. Nerve stimulation programs and such. I don't want that. If I'm going to be with you, I want it to be real. I need to feel your skin on mine. I've never shown my face to anyone. But I'm ready to show you. If I can do it without dying. Do your research quickly, Miss Vast Normandy. Captain's orders. Oh, oh, right. Yes, definitely. Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs for the mission. <laughs> 